Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 29. Today's lesson we're going to be talking about operator overloading. Now this is a new program so we're going to go ahead and get started and go down through it line by line. Uh, we're creating a new fraction class here and we're giving it uh, two new member fields or variables. Here we have our constructor uh, with the parameters top and bottom. This stuff all makes sense, right? Now with our fraction class, we want to be able to add, subtract, multiply, divide. You know, that would make sense. Uh, for right now, I've only added the add method. And I used the, uh, I guess, the cheese ball non-reducing non formula to add fractions. And here it is. And then we simply just um, take to add everything to top and add everything to bottom. So we're actually just, you know, whenever we add this stuff, we're destroying our old values. So all of that stuff makes sense. Okay, now we're doing something cool here. Uh, we're actually overriding to string. So that way, whenever we output, you know, or, or call console.write line, we'll have the top, and then we'll do this thing, and then the bottom. So, you know, that makes sense. So whenever we write this to a string, um, you know, we've overridden this, and so it'll make sense for how we've implemented our class, or fraction class. Okay, we're going to skip this part for now, and we're going to go ahead and take a look and see if this actually works. So we create our first fraction, uh, it's one half, and we create our second fraction, which is essentially one. So one and one half, one and a half. So let's see if this actually works here. So we'll run this, six over four, that is one and one half. And then we could actually try some other values if we wanted to, so let's do that. And 10 over 4 is 2 and a half, so that makes sense. Okay, so now let's get back onto this part. This is where the real magic is happening. So what we're doing here is public static fraction operator and then the addition symbol, fraction left-hand side, fraction right-hand side. So what we're trying to do here is instead of having this fraction add method, right, what we want to be able to do is actually just add them like we add integers uh, and that would make our lives much easier. It would make it a lot more clear to see too. And that's really the only time you should ever override these things is when it, when it makes sense to do so. Okay, so what we're doing is we're doing essentially the same formula up here uh, and then we return the new fraction to top bottom. And again, it's just pretty easy to overload um, an operator. You just go ahead and type uh, this here, public static fraction operator plus. And then what we'll do is we'll comment this stuff out and actually see if it works. So first fraction plus second fraction equals third fraction. Write out the third fraction and then do two string. And that was that over, um, yeah, here it is. We overrid it right here, right? So, overrode, overrid, well, whatever. Let's see if this works. 10 fo over 4, which is uh, 2 and a half, which is exactly what we got last time. So it appears to be working. So what we've done here, even though it's a short program, we've done a lot. We've overridden <laughs> um, to string, so that that way we can, you know, right line this out to, to um, you know, the console. And we've also um, overloaded the addition operator so that we can you know just add these in a way that we would add integers so hopefully uh, you enjoyed today's lesson if you have any questions please go ahead and uh, join the community and ask in our forums and we'll see you tomorrow thanks guys